What's going on today, YouTubers? Welcome to another edition of Walking Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at two knives kind of side by side. I think they go together, uh, and you'll understand why in a second. One of them is a custom knife, and one of them, um, well, you'll see. So this is the custom knife. Um, it is the Neon by Shir Gorov and this is the custom division neon um, so really there are a few different versions of this knife sorry the blade's a little dirty I was using it earlier um, there are a few different versions of this knife um, because it was so popular uh, there's this version which was um, a really short sprint run, uh, 30 pieces. Um, this one is number 13, I believe. Yeah, 13. Um, so a pretty limited number of these were made. And um, so they decided, since it was such a popular model, and this was almost like the prototype for them, um, that they made a mid-tech version uh, called the Neon Light. And then they made another mid-tech version called the Neon Ultralight because it was so incredibly popular. Um, and I think a lot of the popularity uh, had to do with how hard it was to get a hold of. Um, they're pretty tough to find just because they come out of Russia. They're made in such limited quantities. Um, which is part of the, I guess, part of the draw, you know? I mean, not everyone has them. They're, they're not that easy to get a hold of. Uh, and the other knife I'm talking about, uh, sorry, uh, filming with one hand and then trying to do the review with the other sucks. I gotta figure out some way to fix that. But this is the, the other knife. Um, basically, a clone of the one that I just showed you. Um, almost identical in every respect obviously you're, you're seeing some differences here uh, you can see the biggest difference here on the blade uh, with the finish but more alike than unalike obviously um, they're both titanium frame lock flippers they're both in the exact same configuration same blade shape um, pretty much the same weight same finish on the handles uh, the only thing this doesn't have is um, like the little finishing details and obviously that bear stamp that lets you know you're holding a sheer gore of, uh, which is one of the reasons I was okay with showing this knife. This doesn't try and pass itself off as the authentic. Um, obviously, design-wise, it is the exact same knife but they're not branding it in such a way that they're trying to deceive people as to what it is. So uh, as long as they're not trying to be deceitful, uh, I don't mind. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the specs. We have a three and a quarter inch blade. Uh, this one is CPM S35VN. The custom division neon is S90V. Uh, which is also a crucible powdered metallurgy steel. Um, it is a nice, uh, elegant drop point with top swedge and a very high flat grind, which makes this knife very good for slicing. Uh, one of the reasons I'm a big fan of the design is because it is so good at its job. Uh, it's a really great cutter. Um, yeah, so a, a full... Uh, very high flat grind here. This one's done in kind of like a belt grinder satin finish. Very rough finish, but I would imagine very good at hiding wear. Um, full disclosure, this isn't my knife. A friend sent this to me to take a look at um, and to review, so um, I agreed. Uh, the handles, um, we're looking at four and a quarter inches on the handles, obviously titanium, both sides. Uh, frame lock 
It does have a sculpted titanium pocket clip with hidden hardware. And it has a titanium backspacer in a kind of a gear pattern, which protrudes just a little bit. And it also gives you room for a lanyard hole there. Um, what makes the knife, I think, kind of special is the finish they do on the titanium. They do very small little fluting, um, little tiny grooves uh, that give it a really great texture, um, uh, good for tactility, and I think it looks really nice as well. The mid-tech version uh, does not have that fluting in the titanium. Um, and it's and it's a bit thinner. This is more contoured. Uh, let's see if I can show you this. It's it's rounded the titanium So you can see it kind of is raised in the middle. I Guess it's harder to see on this one. I'll show it to you on the other one um, But basically it's 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 a rounder knife uh, whereas the mid-tech version is like dead straight and it doesn't have the like I said the texturing there um, both the Custom division and this one are extensively, you can see those giant pockets milled out of the handle scales, um, which is one of the reasons this knife is so incredibly light. It's, uh, it's under three ounces. Um, so we have a steel lock bar insert there. The bearings in this one, I don't, I can't say with 100% certainty the mid-tech version is a multi-row bearing system. Um, the custom division that I just showed you has, instead of bearings, it has like cylinders. Um, it's kind of hard to explain it, but instead of like a little ball, it's a, it's a longer cylinder uh, that rolls and that's kind of arranged in a circle um, in the washer. So uh, it's, a, it's extremely, extremely smooth. Uh, this one and the custom division you can see there, um, it just falls closed, which is, it, that's really nice um, for what this is. Um, this is a knife that was pretty much um, cut and molded uh, in a factory and then kind of pieced together um, afterwards. And for them to get the action that close to the real thing, um, that's pretty damn impressive in my in my book. Uh, I asked the person whose knife this was what these go for, and I believe $160 is what he paid for this clone. Um, that's a pretty screaming deal uh, for a knife that's so close to the Custom Division Neon, which um, <laughs> I paid a lot of money for. Uh, Let's see, I'm bringing it out here. This knife, I got a little dirt on there. Uh, this knife cost me about 2,500 bucks, which is a lot of fucking money for a pocket knife. Um, that It's almost the most I've ever spent on a pocket knife. And why, why the fuck would you spend that much money on a pocket knife? Um, I, I, I've owned the mid-tech versions before and I was such a huge fan and they're almost impossible to get, they're basically impossible to find uh, since there's only 30 of them. So when the opportunity came up, I was just kind of like, you know what, fuck it, it's only money. Uh, how often will I get a chance to handle a knife that has this much, I mean you can see he polished the edges of the custom pivot hardware um, the blade flats here have been polished with like a glossy, almost semi-polished bead blast to the, uh, to the grind areas. You can see the grind is also more complex than on the clone. You can see it, there's like a little drop there, then straight, then another drop, then here, and another drop. So it drops here, drops there, and then drops there. Really, really cool, interesting design. Um, and very, very uh, useful as well. Um, that tip is extremely sharp for uh, fine work. Sorry, I'm having to duck underneath the trees here. 
got a little snow. Um, yeah, it's it's extremely useful um, to be uh, for you know using. Uh, I guess you know most people aren't really going to hard use a $2,500 knife. I'm no exception, uh, but I do use it. Um, you know, I use it for light stuff like food and, uh, you know, opening packages, stuff like that. Uh, you can see the fluting on this one is more pronounced than on the clone. This is also done in a darker finish. Uh, some other little details that this has that that doesn't... Uh, the rounding on the titanium handle is much more pronounced. Kind of give you a view of what I was talking about with the rounding. See, it's not flat. Mm, kind of hard to show you. Yeah. Um, you can see the uh, lanyard hole there is a little bit different. It's not just round. It's kind of elongated. Obviously, the hardware there is different. The pocket clip is slightly different in both. Um, this is a little bit more comfortable in the hand because of the way that they chamfered and smoothed out all of the edges. So it's a little bit more comfortable to hold, um, but they're they're very very close. Uh, and for 160 bucks, um, this is a damn good deal. If you can't, and most likely you can't, get a hold of the Custom Division Neon, this is uh, and you wanted to see kind of what it's all about. This ain't a bad idea. Um, if ethically you're okay with um, having a knife that is uh, directly produced directly from someone else's design, uh, then yeah, I mean, I would, I would try and find one of these if you can. I'm not 100% sure where my friend got it, but uh, I would imagine one of the clone websites like Ally Express yeah, this looks like a multi-row bearing system. It doesn't look like it has the cylinder bearings that the custom division has. Uh, this hardware was one of the things I was kind of like iffy about. I don't know what you would use if you ever wanted to take that pivot off. Uh, it just looks kind of rough and weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what would fit in there. I guess you would need some kind of custom tool because the other side is just bare. Uh... So anyways, um, I think I covered all the specs. So weight-wise, we're under three ounces, like 2.8, uh, something like that. Um, the steels I covered, the handle. Uh, overall, I mean, you've seen the smoothness of these knives. They drop closed. Uh, centering on both of them is pretty much perfect. This one might be just, a, no, no, that's pretty much perfect. I guess it's a tiny, tiny hair towards the lock side, but you barely notice. You'd have to really look for it. Flipping action. Uh, the detent on this one is pretty soft. This can be shaken out. Um, whereas with the custom division neon, you can't. Uh, you can whip it around all day and it's not going to come out. Um, so yeah, both <laughs> both well-made knives. Obviously the custom division has had more uh, time and attention and love put into it. Uh, whereas this was kind of... Um, had the parts stamped out and then it was assembled um, by a factory worker but dude you can't argue with that you really can't you really can't argue with that right there um, there's a very slight amount of blade play in this one um, uh, w versus the custom division neon where there's absolutely zero blade play uh, but it's not enough to prevent you from being able to properly use the knife um, and that's this one, you know, you might get one that's better or worse. That's, that's another um, chance you take with a knife like that, with a knife like this. You, you know, you're not 100% sure that it's going to be uh, impeccable. Whereas with a knife that you're <laughs> shelling out a fucking fortune for, um, you know, you're, you can be pretty damn sure that it, it should be uh, perfect. So, alright guys, that's going to wrap this up. Uh, I just wanted to show you both of these knives side by side. Um, you know, whether this is okay, uh, that's for you to decide. Um, I will see you guys in the next video and the next giveaway is coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that.